Hello everybody, welcome back to another video here. We are unboxing today the Apple TV 4K. Let's get into it. Yes, we have the new Apple TV 4K here with the new controller. I'm very, very excited for this product. I'm a big Apple TV user. And what's even better is I've managed to get this a day early because um, a retailer here in the UK, Argos, actually was shipping and delivering them early. So I managed to get in on that and I've had it 24 hours earlier. So that's great. Here we are though, we're gonna unbox this now. Um, I'm very, very excited for this product. Uh, as I say, I'm a big Apple TV user. I love watching movies and stuff in my room. If you've missed my movies channel, please have a head over there. Um, there's all that sort of stuff I put over there. So yeah, we got slightly different packaging this time on the front, front and center. They've actually put the remote. I believe last time they didn't actually have the remote. I don't think, I think it was just the box in the middle. We've now got then on the top side there, you've got Apple TV 4K. Um, on the left, there's nothing. On the right, there's nothing. And then on the bottom, you've just got the, um, this is the model I've got. I've got the 4K HDR and 32 gigabyte model. And then obviously all the information. On the back though, we do get this little thing here, the ultimate cinematic experience. Enjoy 4K HDR picture quality and immersive Dolby Atmos sound. Then you've got apps, obviously AirPlay, uh, HomePod, and then AirPods. So you can use all those devices on the Apple TV. As we get into the unboxing then, we're gonna pull it up here. And we can see right away, we are presented with the box and then the new remote. We'll look at that in a little bit, but the first thing is the box. The box in, in, in the largest part is very much the same as the last one. We do have things in there like new processors and all that type of stuff. Um, but in large part, the design of it is very much the same. So if we take off some of the sticky, sticky protective stuff here, especially around the edge, you can see, very satisfying. And there we go, there's our port selection. And as I said earlier, same as the last one, you get a power port, HDMI, and then a ethernet port for internet. So we'll put the box down on the side. As I say, it's very, very similar or exact, more or less identical to this, the one before. We also then get a charging cable inside, which obviously charges the remote. Uh, I don't think we get Apple stickers as well. We get two smaller ones by the looks of things. Um, and then we get all our obviously paperwork and stuff. But the star of the show in this case is gonna be the remote, which we'll get into. Um, I guess under here looks like the power cable. Yep, and then we get the power cable. But the star of the show is the remote. So let's get into this. If I pull this off, you can see, and here it is. We get a aluminium remote, all aluminium. It's very, very reminiscent to the, um, well, I guess the remote before, um, before the one before. The previous remote here you can see is very, very glass focused. You've got glass frontier, glass trackpad. This one's got actual buttons on there, a lot more buttons. Yeah, even on the back we've got, um, you know, aluminium as well, but it's much thicker, which it does help. You know, you don't really see Apple products go thicker. They, they tend to stay thin, um, but it's nice to see that they're actually doing that and making things a bit thicker. And, you know, it, it adds a bit more weight. When you want a remote, you want it to have substance. So yeah, here is the remote. I love the silver finish. I do feel like it's gonna get scratched up quite a bit, but at the end of the day, it is a remote. One of the biggest things missing from this though, I feel is the U1 chip. I feel like if they put this in here, it would have been a game changer. That's basically putting an AirTag inside this thing, but I guess for, for cost reasons, they obviously decided not to do that. I think that would have been a game changer in feature. So obviously, where's my remote? And it just starts pinging. But either way, we get a new remote, which is great. So there it is, guys. There is me unboxing my Apple TV and its new remote. I'm very, very excited to actually have one of these. I've basically been running one Apple TV for the last practically 18 months. So I'm very, very excited to finally have two now in my house. I've been waiting for this upgrade because it's been rumored heavily for a while. Um, so happy to get this remote. So happy to get the new box. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more and subscribe if you are new. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.